25 years, Pamela Delfinick was a university architect and campus planner, first at Yale and then at MIT. She recently joined Gensler's Boston office as leader of their education practice. In this conversation, she talks about the challenges and responsibilities of a campus planner in the changing landscape of higher education. My job at Yale was much more broadly defined. Um, I was responsible for the initial planning, um, for, for the campus-wide planning, and for planning for the renewal of the entire campus, um, capital renewal program. And so as a university architect, that was my job. And I was advisor to the president, um, so was the dean of the architecture school. But the president recognized that we came from two very different points of view and he had to balance our usually opposing recommendations. I love the big picture. There's, there's a wonderful Dwight Eisenhower quote. He said, sometimes when confronted with a problem, I find that rather than making the problem smaller, I make the problem larger and I can begin to see the outlines of a solution within the larger context. And that really resonated with me because that's the way I see the world. I try not to solve a problem out of context. I try to look at the context in which it's contained. I try to think more broadly about the long-term ramifications. And I really try to solve a larger problem. At least 15 years ago, um, digital learning, online education, <laughs> distance learning became a big deal and everybody said this is going to be the death of the physical campus. Um, we didn't have the means to make that happen. We didn't have the technology. I don't think it was ever really a concern. Now 15 years, maybe 20 years later, people are going to be, are beginning to be concerned about it. At the same time, people are worried about the, the death of the physical campus. They're worried about the spiraling out of control cost of higher ed. You know, if, if the cost of living is doing this and the cost of health care is doing this, the cost of education is doing this. And so people are looking for opportunities to trim education costs. However, people are also coming to realize that what an education is, and it's more than book learning. It's, I think, more and more campuses, even though it's more expensive, more and more campuses are realizing the power, beyond the power, the need, the essentialness of a residential education to help build character, to provide spiritual guidance. Uh, I think that we as campus architects, and I consider my, still consider myself a campus architect, I think we're going to be challenged. It's something I'm facing in my, my new job. We're, we're really talking about it a lot. What is the nature, what is the physical nature of the campus to support digital education, online learning? Because that's going to happen. It's changing the pedagogy. Yeah. It's, changing, um, yeah. it's changing education. It's turning yeah. it upside down. But yeah. it's not making the physical space go away. It just needs to be different. It needs to be flexible. It needs to provide, it needs to enable learning. Not force learning, but enable learning. And learning happens everywhere. And we have to be aware that every single space on campus is there for learning of some, name, of some sort. And I think it's our obligation. Well, it's the educator's obligation, but it's the obligation of those of us who design for campuses to provide for the students who tend to become isolated. And online learning has a tendency to be done in isolation, and it can enable people to socialize less than they probably should. So we have to find a way to counterbalance that, mm -hmm. to provide for the spiritual growth, the inner growth, the whole growth of the young people. Pamela Delfinick is a fellow of the American Institute of Architects. As a university architect and campus planner, she shaped the future of two of the nation's great universities, Yale and MIT. This conversation was recorded June 22, 2015 in Chapel Hill, North Carolina.